Hey, polar bears. Crazy D here, getting ready to head out to work. Starting temp, minus 3.2 C. Minus 3.2 C. And starting kilometers are 57446.0. 57. Hey, polar bears! We're out of here. Off to work again. The last shift right on. Seems like my flashlight's been behaving. And yeah, Yoshi, it's the, uh, the super cheap. Woohoo! Dollar thirty-nine Walmart special. Ah. Anyway. Trixie and Trip were out today. Trix came home with a new Scooby-Doo movie that we've never seen. I'm quite a Scooby fan. Some gentleman's nine's little Scooby hanging on that scooter. That's pretty cool. Anyway, she came home with uh, Legend of the Phantasaur. And I would have to say, I could recommend that to the, to the four and over crowd. If you have any little ones. That's definitely a biker friendly movie. Scooby gets in a bit of a, or Shaggy gets in a bit of a tussle with a bike gang. He learns how to ride a motorcycle. They got some good art. Unfortunately, the motorcycle he's riding changes a bunch of times. But some darn good art on the bikes. Bunch of Harley-esque bikes with Yamaha-looking engines in them. <laughs> but, uh, God, it's a, it was a good movie. And that, the bike thing happens right in the very first half hour of it. So it's a quick, easy watch. During the bike race, Trip was screaming and yelling and having a great time. Um, it's pretty cool. So if you got any little, little biker kids on your list, that's definitely a movie worth uh, buying and just giving out. That's a cool flick. Well, that's, that's my review of Scooby-Doo and the Legend of the Phantasaur. I think it's the legend. But, okay. Yep, that's still working. Woo. Before that, we watched some Supercross when I woke up. Saturday night race broadcast on CBS today. Definitely a good race. A good crash. It's gone out on super crash. I wish I could ride it. <laughs> yeah, oh well. I keep practicing and I'm, you know, even at my age I'm getting better every time I ride that dirt bike. I hope anyway. I'm having lots of fun and that's what motorcycling's all about. I'm having lots of fun. I'd encourage any of the polar bears this summer, if you get a chance, well, maybe not Yoshi, you already got anybody without a dirt bike <laughs> and that doesn't ride like that. Uh, if you find anywhere that rents dirt bikes, and quite a few MX tracks too, or places with trails, spend a hundred bucks, it's usually only a hundred or two hundred bucks. You got some extra kids, ride a bike for the day and go out and play. It's great practice for riding in the snow and riding on the slippery. If you can get out and blast through a, a mud pit a bunch of times, you'll get the feel how uh, how snow kind of handles, or how your bike will handle in the snow. You know, it's, it's not just if you're on a dirt bike, a different bike, but how a motorcycle will handle in the snow. Mud's kind of a good, uh, A good comparison to riding in the sloppy, ridgy, crappy snow. And dirt biking is a lot of fun. You know, going out and doing some trail riding. Just wear the proper gear. That's why I was saying going rent a bike because at least you're in a groomed track or in a place with trails. And 
they'll provide you with the gear. Just hop, you know, hopping on somebody's bike and going blasting through the field. And then, you know, it's, it's fun, but you don't have all the gear on. There's a lot of dangers of motocross. Not so much traffic and idiots like when you're out on the street, but you tend to push your limits a lot more and, and the unknown makes you crap. Alright, I'm starting to ramble. I gotta blast the work, guys. Crazy D. Out of dog. Alright, full gas, ending mileage. 57.451.2. 57,451.2. Another great day at work. Right on. Crazy to you out, guys.